Hi, today I would like to show you how I've made this dual threaded screw. I am medic 3D and I do all kinds of 3D printing related stuff. A while ago I was browsing Nigak and I saw this post. This is very satisfying to watch, so I decided to 3D print something similar. But first I need to model the part. This should be easy, just open Fusion 360 and create a cylinder and add right sided thread and then left sided thread. Remember to set modeled option for your thread. You can do it in two ways. Check the modeled checkbox while creating the thread or change the type under document settings. Ok, that's enough of theory. The first try I just made a quick and dirty prototype to check how it feels and works. I used regular M24 size thread for no particular reason. It just looks like the perfect size for the fidget toy. Not too big, not too small. After a quick print, it doesn't work as I hoped. It is impossible to use it. The threads are binding. So the next try was a little bit more accurate. I created something more similar to the actual screw and nut. During slicing I cut off the bottom and the top part so I can save some time and filament. The next iteration was nicer because I added rounded edges and it looks like a proper screw. This time I printed regular right-handed threaded screw and nut just to check if everything is ok with my models and clearances. The fit was really tight, so I wasn't able to screw it using only hands, I had to use a wrench. So I decided to sand the edges of the screw and inside of the nut. And now I can screw it using hand, but it is still pretty tight. To remedy this, in the next step I added a little bit of clearance to the nut and bolt. I just cut off the perimeter of the screw and nut. And for start I used 1mm, which is too much. There is too much of the play. So the next iteration I used 0.5mm. And this is a little bit better, but still a little bit too loose. After testing and playing with all the designs, I've decided that the best combination is to use the screw with extra 0.5mm clearance and the regular left and right handed nuts. It seems to be impossible to use both double sided nut and bolt, which makes sense if you reconsider it. If you have an idea how to improve this design, please feel free and let me know in the comments section below or just create a remix of this item. As always, all the links are in the description below. Thank you all for the likes, subscriptions and especially for the comments. They are very important and motivating. This is great to know that someone is on the other side of the screen. As a thank you, I will do a giveaway after reaching 250 subscribers on YouTube. Please help me reach this milestone and enjoy the 3D printing world together with me. Watch my other videos, Vera, right there, waiting just for you.